Alright, so here's the final iteration of my uh, solid state test coil that I built. Half bridge IRFP 260s. Basically, what I discovered was that the interruption frequency was in the auto range, and while it gave a cool variation of effects, not that cool because my coil was running rather high frequency at 1 megahertz or so, um, it was loud. Very, very, very loud audio modulation stuck at a monotone. So, not very much fun to have on. And I experimented with different values of the timing circuit and the 555 arrangement to uh, alter the PWM a bit or alter the pulse rotation frequency to be out of the uh, hearing range. I really couldn't get it low enough or high enough to the point that it wasn't annoying. So, I cut the leads uh, into the gate drive chips and cut the power lead to the 555, pulled the chips off and uh, leaving the little bit of passives that are on there, it's not a big deal. And I'm leaving this as it is. I was debating um, fixing up my gate drive transformers connections because they're still how they were from when I was testing. Uh, but then I decided, you know, I, I what I really want to do is rebuild the circuit again. Uh, minimize it a little bit by leaving out the interrupter. Or uh, maybe just leaving a connection port to uh, wire in a future much better fully adjustable interrupter in the future that may be good for audio modulation or anything else along those lines. Um, so I'm going to rebuild the board eventually and uh, it'll be basically the same layout where I've got the uh, low voltage power supply there, half bridge there, and gate drive which is kind of hidden by the gate drive transformer there. Uh, just arranged a bit nicer. I've got a uh, little table fan cooling off the uh, FETs which are nice and cold right now because I haven't had it running. I have the AC disconnected. I also want to get an actual heat sink for my uh, AC mains bridge. Though uh, I, I've never seen it get warm, but then again I do have it thermal pasted to a giant one foot square copper block one eighth inch thick. So it's not like I'm giving it a chance to figure out if it's warm. But I haven't seen it uh, really get too warm. It's only drawing a little under 5 amps, which is kind of where I want it. I don't want anything higher than that because then I've got to deal with heating across the circuit and wires getting too warm and so on and so forth. Switched out to the new primary. It is uh, 600 volt rated, 10 gauge stranded solid copper wire. It's not very pretty, but it works. 10 turns. The reason why it kind of looks so messed up there is I have uh, these. Uh, uh, straps on it as well because this this wire is rather stiff. Got a new uh, primary coil form there, which covers up most of the secondary because I was having flashover issues. You can kind of see where I had to grind out a uh, a uh, scar made from flashover. Have uh, the uh, top load I was using for my spark gap as a coil set up to this now, and it works rather well with it. There you go. Again, I'm going to rebuild the driver circuit a bit. I'm not going to touch this one at all. I'm just going to build an entire second one. I want to have a uh, working coil at all times now. So at least I'll have a backup driver. Kind of just screwed it down onto this old case that I've used for various projects over the years. Just a standoff. And uh, it gets good airflow like that, so it's working well. So, without further ado, let me uh, plug her in. And again, I gotta put the camera down. Um, there's no interruption, so any uh, audio frequency you hear is just leftover voltage ripple from the mains lines. Uh, I think it's at about like 26 volts peak to peak based on the, uh, the current draw. I calculated how many uh, capacitors I'd need, and how much capacitance to get down to one volt uh, ripple, <clears throat> and it would cost like a hundred bucks to do it. So I'm not even gonna worry about that. I don't mind the 120 hertz hum. I'm sure you don't as well. Anyway, let's go. Still using the old uh, manual disconnect method.
so I can reach around to my uh, light over here. You can see quite the uh, EM field on it. That's about a foot and a half away. I don't want to run it too long now, but I'll give you another minute or so.